The Texas primary is coming up three weeks from today. Early voting this year begins on February 20th. Keg Sands political reporter Phil Prazen is at Maynard High School at a Democratic forum and he brings us up to speed. Campaign tables fill the entrance to Maynard High School's auditorium. Now, many races will be decided March 6, but for Democrats gearing up to take on Republicans in November, primaries can be a useful tool to gain momentum. Mike Collier is running for the most powerful position in Texas, Lieutenant Governor. He's taking on incumbent Dan Patrick, who has a multi-million dollar campaign account. Collier is in front of this small audience Tuesday night because Democrats need every vote they can get. But he says controversy surrounding President Trump will make it close in November. The Democrats are spoiling for a fight. And we haven't won statewide in 25 years, but it's a very different time. People are energized, they're angry, they're concerned about democracy. Collier has one Democratic primary opponent, Michael Cooper. Dan Patrick also has one as well in Scott Milder. But Patrick is one of the most popular politicians in the state, especially among Tea Party voters. And he has the most money other than Governor Greg Abbott. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. One of the major seats on the ballot is for House District 46. It runs from East Austin into Eastern Travis County and even stretches into parts of Pflugerville. Right now, Donna Dukes holds that seat, but she's up against several candidates. You might remember the Travis County District Attorney dropped more than a dozen felony charges against Dukes in November. We'll have much more on what's at stake for District 46 coming up over on KXAM News after the games.